Hi, I'm Chris, and last time we, uh, we spoke about AdWords and how the, uh, the keyword should go through the, you know, the keyword structure and the, the title of your ad and the title of your landing page. Um, the, this uh, conversation is about more, more of the technical side and then how that relates to the, uh, the marketing side of your uh, Google Ads campaign. You see, Google Ads is set up in three sections. Uh, we have the campaign level, and then we have the ad groups level, and then we have the ads level. Now it's very, very similar to, uh, to Facebook, uh, whereas they have campaign ad sets and ads. Uh, basically identical, but uh, we're going for AdWords at the moment. Um, and the campaign, this is where we uh, set up um, all your details, your, uh, what you want to achieve out of the campaign, uh, your locations and uh, your bid strategy. Um, with the bid strategy, I tend to go for the manual bid strategy. Uh, this just enables uh, more flexibility when we're uh, having a look at the, the metrics after our ads are in action. Um, you can set it to, uh, to automatic, uh, to set at a particular position, but uh, I, I like to see um, where it's at before I decide how much I'm gonna be spending on a particular ad. Now, the, uh, for the bid strategies, there are you know, three uh, different positions. You can uh, bid to be on the first page, uh, definitely do that. Um, and then bid to be in the top of the page, which I would highly recommend. And then there is a bid to be first on the page. Now, I don't think that's necessarily needed. Uh, I think if you're in the top three, I think that's fantastic. Um, people will be able to see your ad and, and discern that uh, yours is the one to go for uh, instead of the competition. Uh, Unless, of course, you really want to drive for that first position. And if the cost isn't too much more to be in that first position, then go for it. But uh, your competition might think that that's the thing that they need to have is the first place. And they could set those bids up very high. You can end up paying you know, $20, $22 per click. And that's, that's going to eat up your budget real quick. Uh, whereas if you were just in the top top three, uh, the, the clicks could be down to like $3.50, $4, that sort of thing. Uh, and that, um, you know, depending on what industry it is and what uh, the competition is doing at the time. But uh, yeah, that's a good perspective on uh, bid strategies. Now also in the ad groups, we set up our extensions. Uh, Google allows us to uh, add certain things to our ad. Um, let's say a call extension. Uh, if your ad is uh, written really well and somebody goes, I just want to speak to this person straight away, it, they can bypass going to the landing page, they can just call you direct. That's what the call extension does. Uh, and of course, this works on a mobile. Um, you just click the button straight through to call and it comes through to you. Now, this works in... Uh, in industries and, and, and solutions that people need right away. Um, let's say they need uh, a plumber straight away, that sort of scenario. You know, they just go, I need a plumber, let's, let's speak to them, call them straight away. Uh, there is also a text extension, so people can uh, text you. They don't feel comfortable in calling, they'd maybe rather just type it in and see how it goes. And I highly recommend that for uh, fast reaction industries. Uh, people can just text you straight away. I, I think that's a great idea. Um, other extensions, you can have site linking extensions. If you have like multiple uh, pages that you want somebody to go uh, to view in your website, uh, I don't. I don't really use them. <laughs> I, I'd rather just somebody go to that specific landing page designed for that specific solution geared to that specific keyword. Uh, I really don't want them going to the about page or the, the contact page or, or any other page other than that specific landing page. So I, I'd leave that alone. Um, I, I know a lot of big businesses do it and it looks great to have it on your ad and it takes up more space, but uh, I just want to direct people. They're looking for that keyword, they've ch chosen your ad, let's go to that specific landing page that's going to solve their problem. I think that's the best way to go. Uh, there are other uh, extensions that we can put on the ad just to extend the ad out a little bit. Uh, we can add in 
you know, services, uh, specific products, or if there's other um, problems that your client might face, put that in there that you can solve them. Uh, that, that adds the, um, the bulk of the ad. <laughs> it's, it's just not necessary. Um, interestingly enough, uh, they did an experiment with, uh, with AI writing ads and um, the most responsive ads were, were not the longest, were not the, they didn't occupy the biggest amount of space to get the attention. It was just short and sharp and straight to the point. And that's how I like to write my ad words. Uh, the, it doesn't matter if you're taking up three or four lines and your competition is, you know, that can be confusing. Uh, just get straight to the point, straight to the pain of your, uh, uh, your client and the solution that you can give them. And I think that's the best way to run it. Now the next technical side of uh, the levels, your campaign, ad groups, and now it's your ads. And this is where we write the, uh, the headline. Uh, we have now three headline options. Uh, <laughs> uh, Google can give us um, three lines. So that it's very restrictive. It's, uh, you know, you gotta come up with the headlines in, in 30 characters or less. Um, and then we look into the, uh, the body copy. Uh, so, Hang on, back on the title, of course. You know, you've got your keyword, as we spoke of before. Um, let's say it's uh, your solution and location can help. Uh, if the location doesn't fit in that first line that your um, that your key phrase goes in, this is where we use the uh, the second headline and put it in there. Uh, if you do have the location up in the uh, the top of the headline, uh, the first headline. The second headline, let's put your unique selling point in there. You know, this is the uh, this is the sell of the gist of the sell. Uh, it's it's the reason why somebody would choose you. So here, the first title is uh, telling them that you can solve it, and the second title is why they should choose you. Then they go into the body copy, and we just uh, we spell it out to them how we're going to uh, go about solving their problem. Now, there's only 90 characters for that, so we've got to be uh, short and sharp. Now, if you can't say everything in just that one ad, I would create, well, I usually create three ads. Uh, so we can just do slightly different uh, USPs, uh, unique selling points, and slightly different uh, body copy. And we just check that to see which ones are winning. Uh, Sometimes it could be just an affordability side of things uh, for people uh, if it's a, a really you know, quick service that's needed. Uh, otherwise, different pain points um, can get clicked on. Um, now, Google will rotate these ads and then it's up to us to, uh, to review those ads. We go through the metrics. Uh, we see how, how well they're being uh, placed, um, their uh, quality scores uh, for Google, you know, how how often are they going to be placing our ad in front of people. Uh, the click-through rates for each one of those ads as well. And uh, that, that'll decipher which ones need to be fixed and which ones need to be left alone. Uh, let them run, you know, let, let the wins run. Uh, if the ones aren't getting clicked on as, as much, then we need to review that uh, the copy on the ad. And also we review our uh, positions. And within these metrics, we can, uh, because in our campaign level, we set uh, manual bid uh, adjustments. We can go into there and see where we're being placed and we can have a look at how much it is to be uh, on, in the first place. It's uh, in the first ranking number one in, in the ads, uh, in the top of the page, so the first three ads, or on the first page. You know, just you could be down the bottom there, but I really don't want to be there. I'd rather be in the top three. So we can see how much it is going to be to, uh, to do, you know, be in that top three places or, or in fact the, uh, the first page bid. Oh, sorry, not first page, first rank bid. Uh, and I just add another 10 cents on, on top of that just to be uh, in the mix. And each day uh, or every few days we have a look at that and make sure that we're placed uh, at the top there. Uh, otherwise we're just going to be left behind. The other thing that we look at uh, at this stage in the, in the metrics is the search terms that we've been found for. Uh, we have a look at what people are clicking on and what keywords they've typed into Google. Uh, it's a great tool because uh, if we've done a broad match phrase or even just a, um, 
uh, a broad extended phrase, um, your ad could pop up in some really quite weird searches and, and people will click on it and you have no idea why. But uh, at least we'll be able to see uh, what the search terms are that you've been clicked on for. And if that's just not suitable, um, they're just going to eat up our budget. So we create a list of negative keywords. Um, we place these uh, key phrases that, uh, or keywords or key phrases that um, people have typed into Google. It just aren't a match for your business. Now, it gets clicks, sure but they're not the clicks you want and that's a total waste of money. So what we do is uh, select those particular terms that are just not relevant um, to, your, uh, to your cause, to your, to your business, and we put them in the negative keywords list. And then that tells Google, if somebody else searches for something like that, uh, do not show us. We do not want to be clicked on for that uh, particular search term. So your whole Google AdWords is, is an ever-expanding, uh, ever-evolving -evolve, beast, I guess. <laughs> and we've got to keep, uh, keep our eye on it just to make sure that uh, everything's still working very, very well. And just to build that campaign up so we, do, we just get more and more uh, clicks, click-through rates and uh, better responding ads and better conversions and just narrowing down our, our, our target. And that, that takes a little bit of time and it takes a lot of know-how. But thanks for listening. <laughs>